An update to a story we first told you about last night. A frantic search for a tractor trailer cab has come to a safe end one day after a woman was seen inside screaming for help. CBS 2's Ali Bauman explains how police were able to track down that truck driver. Police say tracking down this nondescript white tractor trailer was like looking for a needle in a haystack. But they did it with the help of this community, and now the woman and driver are both here talking to detectives about what exactly happened. A white truck cab with specks of red blood on the passenger side door is towed to the South Brunswick Police Station Thursday. Detectives believe it's the same Volvo tractor trailer they had been searching for since Wednesday, when a woman with blood dripping down her face was seen trying to escape from the passenger side on Route 130 while screaming for help. But witnesses said the male driver quickly pulled her back into the cab and sped off. When this information comes in, it's so vague, but the story is so compelling that there's a woman yelling for help. The car, the truck taking off, and it makes everyone's stomach sink to what could this be. Police say in the hours after putting this video out, they received dozens of tips from across the country. But the most important came from Gabrielli Truck Sales, where the woman had bought a battery 15 minutes before she was seen bleeding across the street. The initial video, they couldn't read the logo. So I believe they had another video when they figured out they were here and they got a, a better shot of, of, of the truck. That puts the male and female at that location. And that video is what starts everything really developing leads to what goes on. Thursday, police were able to track down the truck with the driver and woman in a neighboring town. It's unclear what exactly happened, but they're both speaking to detectives now to sort it all out. Too often in our profession, outcomes of stories are, are sad. The fact that she's safe, the fact that we have all the parties here, we uh, will take uh, success when we can. Police are still sorting out the relationship between the man and the woman. Both came to the station willingly. Preliminarily, the woman told detectives that she was bleeding because she fell in the cab. At this point, no charges have been filed. In South Brunswick, New Jersey, Allie Bauman, CBS 2 News.